Hi guys, this is Toyo Faust, my physics. It's not the electric and magnetism, but this is just the dynamic, rotational dynamic one. Okay, so this problem called the disk and weight. Okay. And here we have a disk and we have weight. <laughs> and we have the mass of the, the disk, we have the radius, we have the mass of the weight, and we have the V final, which they can ask ask some question about it. Alright, so the first question they are asking, what is the energy of the of the system? The system started at rest and the the weight went down until the speed was 2.2 so they're asking what is the energy of the system okay so the energy of the system it will have the kinetic energy plus the rotational energy okay and the the kinetic energy will be equal to half mv squared and this m is just for the mass one for the weight and the u r will be equal to half i inertia omega squared and we can change the omega to v over r and the i for the disk the inertia for the disk is half r squared m okay So the u total will be equal to half mv squared plus now putting everything together we'll end up with 1 over 4 mv squared okay when we put the i here and put the omega the omega will be squared and the r's will be can will cancel. So that's will what we will end up with. Okay. So this is for number one. So this equation you can use. The v's are the same here because the the uh, string is not slipping. All right. So number two. Number two, they are asking, what is the like if the system started from rest, how far has the weight fallen? Okay. So we know that started from rest. So the i equals zero. And we know that it ended with 2.2 .2 meter per second. Then we want to find now the edge, the height that the mass has fallen, the weight has fallen. Okay, but we need the acceleration because the equation we're going to use for this one is v final squared equal v initial squared plus 2ax. And the. So just organizing everything, we'll get 2a equal x. And this is the height that we want to find here. Okay, so we need to find the a now. How, would, how can we find it? So we're going to use the Newton law. So force, some of the forces equal ma. This is the a we're going to find. Okay, if we draw a free body diagram for like each part of the system, if we start with the the weight, so there is mg going down from the gravity, and there is the tension from the from the disk here and if we draw a free body diagram for the disk we'll get tension going down that's all okay this is r so let's do this now so you know there's a torque in the rotational motion and the torque equal f r and sine theta but the theta here is pi over 2, 90 degrees, which sine of 90 degrees is 1, so we'll just ignore that. And then equal the inertia times the 
angular acceleration. You need to memorize this. Okay, so the force, which is the tension here. So tension will be equal to I omega, oh no, omega, angular acceleration over R. Then the inertia for the disk will be, inertia for the disk is half big M, big R squared. Okay. And the angular acceleration is A over R. So the R's will cancel now here. And we'll be left with T equal half A M big M. Okay. So we are left with this now. Okay, so let's draw let's do the sum of the forces on the weight. So the weight is Mg minus T equal MA Newton third's law not third's law first law okay and and now we substitute the T here so it's MG minus half A M equal MA right take this to the other side so it's MG equal M A plus half A big M. So take the A as common factor, and you'll get M plus M big M divided by two equal M G. <coughs> okay. So now the A will be equal to M G divided by M plus M over two. Okay. Now you know all the, you know the M, you know the big M, you know the G, you just find a value for this acceleration. Alright, so we now substitute the A we have here and we put it on in this equation which is this one here and then you'll get the height the height equal squared over 2 times the A, the value of the A you got here. And this one is just the 2.2 and then squared it and you'll get a value. Okay, now question number three, they're asking what is the angular acceleration at this point? So the easiest way to do this is just by saying that the angular acceleration is equal to A over R. The R is 2, 5 divided by the A, as you can see, it's right there, okay? And then, sorry, the font is calling. And then the value of the A you got here, you just get the answer for this. So good luck and bye.